the most powerful thing that you can do is the secondary dwelling units. This could be an opportunity for someone to get into a deal without having uh, to put uh, a lot of money out of, out of their own pocket. My friends, I have a special treat because today I do want to talk about SDUs, Secondary Dwelling Suites. I want to make sure I'm centered with the camera here so everybody can see me. Of course, I have to knock that over. <clears throat> so, what is this? So, you guys heard of uh, BRRRS, right? Buy, renovate, uh, rent, refi, repeat. Okay? So, most people, they hear of the word, but they don't know how it, uh, it works. So there's many ways of doing this. You can buy a single, a single family home and you, you renovate it, you rent it out, you, you refi it, pull your money back out, and then you repeat. But the most powerful thing that you can do is the secondary dwelling units. A lot of the municipalities, especially here in Ontario, there's always a need for more units. And so municipalities are starting to be more flexible with the amount of units that you can have in neighborhoods. And so zoning has changed. And so you'll find that going, uh, buying a property, adding a secondary dwelling unit in, for example, in the basement. So take a basement and turn it into an apartment. Now you turned a single into a duplex going back to the bank to refi it pulling out all your money and then maybe you can house hack this could be an opportunity for someone to get into a deal without having uh, to put uh, a lot of money out of, out of their own pocket so you will have to borrow money to get get it going but ultimately because you've added value right at some point you will you will have to add value so here's your, you, you, you buy, a, uh, here you buy, you have to add value. At some point, you add value. How do you do this? You can renovate, uh, you can increase the income, but in this case, you're going to, uh, you're going to, um, you're going to add another unit. So at this point, you can refi, take the profits tax-free, or you can sell, right? This is called a flip. So what I wanted to do, especially with, with uh, our, our mastermind here, I wanted to bring strategies that a lot of the people starting out could, could apply. For example, a lot of these strategies I was doing in my 20s, now I'm mostly I spend my time uh, buying apartment buildings all across Canada. But if I had to start over and I was like, you know, 22, 23, 24 years old, this would be a really great strategy to use. You may, you may be able to do, use it a few times, so you don't have to put so much money out of your pocket and you end up with a few duplexes under your belt. So, I'm gonna look at the market. The market is going to dictate what exactly you can do. For example, for example, right here in Ontario, we have a vacancy issue. We have very low vacancy rates, not a lot of units, not a lot of places for people to live. And so th in this market, this is very ideal. So I'm gonna be focused on the market. Um, do you have a skill set for renovations? Do you know how to do renovations? If not, you should probably find a contractor. But now I wouldn't just go find any contractor. You wanna make sure you interview multiple contractors. Do you, you wanna make sure that you have contractors that have actual time uh, to be able to do this type of project. Have they done projects like this before? Maybe you could, uh, you could you see some of the projects that they've done. So at the very beginning, uh, you don't have a deal, but you don't want to get a deal and now you're scrambling looking for a contractor. 
I think this work has to be done right up front. You should have already a list of available contractors that you can call at any time and they can come and help you out. I don't know. Sometimes you might want a JV with a contractor. The, someone that has a skill set in renovations would be an ideal partner. Now they have an invested interest into the deal with you. So having that contractor is key. And having that contractor before you find the deal is even better. You're better off um, being ready and not have the opportunity than getting the opportunity and you're not and you're not ready. You ultimately you want to find, I mean, you want to do this as, as fast and as easy as possible. And so you, you want to find a deal that has a separate entrance. So my go-to for SDUs are the bungalows, right? You have your bungalow and then with the side entrance that can be converted into an extra unit. You Obviously, you want to make sure the layout of that property can handle another unit. I mean, obviously, you want to get proper permits and whatnot. You want to make sure the lot, the lot is big enough for parking. So if if you're buying, if, if it's a single family home, maybe it, did, it doesn't come with, uh, you know, multiple uh, parking spots. But if you're going to add another unit, when you are considering this opportunity, you want to make sure that there's enough parking for another family, for example. If you have another two-bedroom uh, two apartment to the basement, if you're adding a three-bedroom apartment to the basement, this could be uh, a family with two vehicles. So parking is going to be very important. And of course, ultimately, you want to, you want to be, do everything legal, right? You don't want to um, half-ass this. You want to get all the proper permits, which will will go back to the contractor and and getting that contractor that can help you get pull these permits do everything legal so you don't get any into any, any trouble in the in the future now <clears throat> these SDUs gives you an opportunity to get in there with you know minimal or just a little bit of your own money pull the money out and go to the next one the next one the next one it could be a really good way for you to raise capital if you're just getting started it's a really it's a really great st uh, strategy